Today on Tales of a Vegan Hunter, can Wolf Bear and I successfully forage for our dinner? Today's challenge is, will we actually find food? Will it be edible? And will our manhoods remain intact if we don't kill something? Will the dinner have flavor if the ingredients aren't sourced from misery and suffering? This actually feels really cool looking for my own food, especially with Wolf Bear helping me out. He's not vegan, but he is an omnivore, and he likes to try out the things that I eat. Save some for me, pig. Many types of plants defend themselves with poison, so disclaimer, just because I'm out here trying things doesn't mean that you should until I have tasted it and survived it. And even then, you might have allergies to something that I don't have allergies to. I remember from the last time I got entangled here that there's abandoned barbed wire. Careful, buddy, let me carry you. Oof. I don't know much about foraging, um, but this thing doesn't look edible. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. This doesn't look particularly good either. Nope. Acorns, however, I see them so often that I've finally looked them up and it turns out that they were a staple food of Native Americans on this coast. Let's look up some nutrition facts for acorns really quick. A few of these I can bite right through the shell, so I was curious whether or not it's unhealthy to eat them. I'll have to look that up later. And I was a little surprised to see that Wolf Bear tried to eat them, although he loves crunchy things. And he'll try most anything. And he seemed to kind of like them. As the day wore on, it seemed like we weren't going to find anything really good as the main course. Go, man it's getting dark we gotta find our food but then we struck pay dirt aha uh -huh. uh -huh. over here buddy dun, dun, dun. this is what we're after let's throw some nutrition information up there on the screen Kind of weird looking, but my friend, the mushroom expert, says yum yum. So we're gonna give it a try. Maybe we'll just take one of them today. All right, today I brought a backpack, a cloth, and a knife to assist me in this little project. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film and cut at the same time, but I'll try to give people an idea of what the flesh of this thing is like. Maybe I should just use my hands and pull it off the tree. Alright, I'm going to put the camera down and use both hands to loosen it. Okay, that wasn't that hard since I left the stem, it should grow back. I do intend to cook all of this for freshness. I could have just cut off the pieces that I want for dinner and come back for more the next day. It's big. It's gonna be a feast. What do you think, man? You gonna try some of this? Wrap that in a cloth and Get some acorns and get out of here. <laughs> 